WPB bearing 270 relative at 300 yards. Bridge to bridge columns were conducted, no response. Weapons uncovered, man conducting routine security patrol. Appears to be unsafe, unprofessional. Senior U.S. defense officials confirmed to Fox News four vessels from Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps harassed an American naval destroyer yesterday near the Strait of Hormuz. That's the video you're looking at now. Two Iranian boats reportedly came within 300 yards of the USS Nitz. The U.S. Navy is calling the high-speed intercept by Iran unsafe and unprofessional. This is a Fox News alert. I'm Brett Baer in Washington. It is another provocative move by Iran, adding to a long list, even after the nuclear deal with the U.S., capturing U.S. sailors, test-firing ballistic missiles, continuing to fund terrorist groups, rhetorically threatening the U.S. and Israel. Meanwhile, confirming today that just two days after steering $400 million in cash to Iran in a covert payment timed to co coincide with the release of American hostages, President Obama and his administration paid the Islamic Republic three times that amount, another $1.3 billion in interest, wiring that money directly to Iran in three payments. The payments trace back to the 1970s and money Iran gave the U.S. for military equipment before the hostage crisis of that era erupted. And the U.S. responded back then by freezing Iran's assets. There is much more to this story. And for that, we go to Chief Washington Correspondent James Rosen at the State Department. Good evening, James. Brett, good evening. For the first time, the State Department has provided a timeline on when it made this $1.3 billion interest payment to Iran. Following a series of explosive reports from the Wall Street Journal, the Obama administration this month has sought to rebut charges that it paid ransom for five Americans released from Iranian captivity back in January, even as senior U.S. officials now admit they withheld the $400 million assembled in hard foreign currency until they received word that the hostages were being set free, a linkage of the prisoner release to the payments that spokesmen for the State Department had previously denied. Now, in response to a report in the New York Sun, the Obama administration has confirmed that it was just two days later on January 19th that a Treasury Department account known as the Judgment Fund was used to send Iran an additional 13 payments, each for $99,999,999.99, or roughly $100 million each, to satisfy the interest that Washington negotiated with Iran. Iran. The U.S. said the total payout of $1.7 billion was significantly lower than the judgment U.S. taxpayers might have been forced to absorb if Iran prevailed in the international tribunal in which it has staked its claim to the assets frozen back in the 70s. However, the State Department today refused to provide additional information about the unusual amounts used, why hard foreign currency was used for the initial payment, or why the ledger shows a 14th payment in the amount of nearly $10.4 million. We do make a practice of not commenting publicly on transactions, including settlement payments, due to the confidential nature of those payments and to respect the privacy of our international partners. The chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee told Fox News last week and reiterated to us again just a few minutes ago that he will hold hearings on this subject. We want to know who authorized this. We want to know when. We want to know the timing. And we also want to know the particulars about the cash and the payments. Uh, why unmarked bills when other avenues were possible in terms of satisfying uh, whatever interests the government may have had. Now, those 13 payments of roughly $100 million each left 13 cents unaccounted for. That led Matt Lee of the Associated Press, the dean of the State Department Press Corps, to ask the department if it intended to use those 13 cents as leverage for the next round of American hostages in Iran. Brett. Unbelievable. James Rosen at the State Department. James, thank you.